update on this tragic story that developed yesterday. The Gauteng Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, MEC, Lebuhang Maile, is visiting the grieving relatives of five people who died in a house fire in Pretoria West. The house went up in flames in the early hours of Wednesday morning. Let me take you now to that live event and we find ENCA's Aviwe Mdila, who is out in Pretoria West. Aviwe, I understand you are on standby with the MEC, Lebuhang Maile. Take it away. Yes, the Cocteau MEC is indeed visiting the house here, yeah, uh, seeing the damage himself. In fact, talking to both the family of the helper, 46-year-old, that um, was burnt by the fire, as well as the family, the, um, family that lost four of their sons, um, which we do understand. But the MEC joins us now. He's just about to address the media here. MEC, you're seeing the state of the house. It's a bizarre incident, and we hear, even from the family spokesperson, that seems a suggestion that there was someone in the house. They called um, the family for help. Do you know what happened here? Well, no one knows at this point. Uh, there is a preliminary observation by the um, emergency services and the police, but um, the forensics unit in the police have been here and uh, they are investigating so we would want to urge uh, everyone not to um, speculate on what has happened um, what we know for sure is that this is a tragedy uh, it's uh, very sad it's heartbreaking um, and we came here to convey our um, heartfelt condolences uh, to the both families of the helper and the um, siblings uh, who passed on um, and we will now be visiting um, the, the, the mother of the survivors um, and um, her son in hospital uh, just to check how they are doing and uh, convey um, our, our sympathy as well and we have uh, brought um, the city uh, various departments um, uh, SASA which is a national agency is here the provincial disaster management and ourselves and we will um, accordingly provide the support that is required by both to, to uh, by both families okay earlier on you were speaking to the families both families quite teary-eyed what are they telling you MEC? and i heard you mention you'll be supporting the family well of course they're heartbroken they're confused uh, and uh, uh, overwhelmed. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think there's anyone who expects that their loved ones will die in uh, such a, a horrific manner. Um, so you can't even ask them how they feel. Uh, um, or, or they were not here, um, but we um, <clears throat> had to uh, convey our condolences to them. Yeah. And without uh, speculating any further, we do hear that also load shedding might have played a part here? Yeah? Well, as I said, uh, I, 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 I don't want to speculate. And the police are here, everyone. Uh, I think at this point we should be um, praying for this family. Uh, we should be consoling the both families, sorry. Um, we should be doing everything we can to ensure that. Uh, the departed uh, have a befitting um, um, uh, funerals uh, and, 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 and farewell. And, and that's what we want to focus on doing, including providing um, uh, psychosocial support uh, to the f surviving members of the families. Okay, MC, thank you so much. I just want to quickly speak to the family spokesperson here, um, just to get an understanding of how the family is doing. Siswam, thank you for joining us at uh, ENC. I understand you're the family spokesperson. Um, How is the mother and the three-year-old that are in hospital doing? She's still in shock. Um, but the small boy, he's fine because he's three years old. He doesn't know anything. But the, the mother, physically the body is fine. She's not like having bad injuries, just minor uh, scratches. But emotionally, no. she's not fine. Does she know um, what happened to her four boys? I understand she was inside as well. Has it been confirmed to her that she's lost the four boys that were here? Uh, because I was here in the morning when I go back to hospital, today, she told me that I've heard because the nurses were talking on the corridors that there is on the news my boys uh, have passed away. 
because I told her that I'm not sure I'm still going to check. I'm not, we, are, we were not sure when I leave the hospital to come to the house, but when I come here, I found her already knowing that it's all over the hospital corridors they're speaking, and then she, she overheard that they said all her four boys are gone. Okay, and you were telling me earlier that you came here after a phone call you'd received from um, some of the people that were inside. What were the conversations that were happening as this fire was engulfing the family, or what was happening? I didn't come immediately here. I came around 8 o'clock and uh, the, the police were done, so I, I don't know what happened because the police were done. It, it, the only neighbors outside. Okay, that's the family spokesperson, Bratulas. Um, as the MEC tries to console the family, also visiting the house that was engulfed uh, by flames, they are losing five lives. Um, four boys aged from six years, 18, 22, and 24 year old, together with the nanny that was looking after them. Uh, we do understand that luckily one of the neighbors came as the fire was engulfing the house, came and managed to rescue the mother as well as her three year old son, which we do understand are in hospital at this moment. You heard that feedback that the mother now does understand that she's lost four of her sons um, with the only son remaining is the son that is with her in hospital currently as the MEC of Kokta in Gauteng visits um, the homestead as well as both the families of the nanny as well as the four boys. Yeah. What a heartbreaking story there in Pretoria West. That's ENCA's Avi Wemdila tracking that story for us there as investigations continue. At least uh, perhaps as the investigations continue, uh, there'll be a clearer picture of what happened and how the fire started. But actually the damage is done really in as far as the losses to those families are concerned.